so my computer screen is visible to you yes sir okay the experiment 4 it is our experiment 4 uh, since we have in our class we have merged two experiments of alkalinity in one please be informed again so uh, this is the uh, well known uh, redox titration between iron 2 and chromium and uh, ferrous ammonium sulfate is, is used as a source of iron 2 is an intermediate in this titration and uh, indicator which is used externally is unique you you are you may be familiar with the theory very well of this redox uh, um, uh, titration that is it is a well known reaction and um, potassium permanganate is a substitute of uh, potassium dichromate you know um, in this titration but we are our our uh, uh, exercises uh, using dichromate solution whose strength we have to determine by preparing a solution of uh, an approximate strength of n by 20 of k2cr2o7 itself what is so unique now now let us uh, so you have to in this titration you have to report the result in grams per liter very traditional very uh, i mean with which you are familiar in volumetric analysis the result is required to be reported that is the strength of the unknown dichromate solution has to be uh, reported uh, calculated uh, in grams per liter this is the well known reaction iron 2 source is ferrous ammonium sulfate dichromate is oxidizing agent here uh iron is being oxidized in presence of acid uh, to uh, ferric ferrous is being oxidized to ferric ions and chromium in turn is gets reduced to cr3 plus from cr6 plus to cr3 3 plus uh and procedure is uh, you can uh, for this uh, the first part is to prepare a known amount of known solution of dichromate known solution of x n by 20 approximate strength calculated is the calculated amount is 0.6128 g of potassium dichromate in 250 cc of course flask which in which usually we prepare our uh, known solutions so uh, 250 ml volumetric flask simply you you wait and uh, transfer the amount in 250 cc volumetric flask dissolve in minimum amount of uh, dilute uh, i mean uh, in in minimum amount of uh, uh, distilled water and then make it up to the mark now this that solution is ready for use uh, you are provided on your shelf unknown solution and uh intermediate that is ferrous ammonium sulfate indicator is there uh, this is unique thing which you will uh, observe uh, how it is uh, used outside uh, that is uh, uh, very uh, interesting uh, since this titration can also be carried out in presence of internal indicator itself uh, but uh, external inter internal if you compare Uh, there is no difference and most of the time this indicator is better and gives the 100% 100% correct result up to the fourth place in grams per liter many times students have have got this result absolutely correctly in the class so that's why this exercise is normally given in 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 uh, classes uh, uh, i mean uh, live classes uh, it is given uh, as a 
during the examination exercise. It is, a, I mean, students can be evaluated very well how 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 much they have uh, learned uh, to, uh, I mean, how much they they feel comfortable with titrations, uh, their weighing part, your your um, preparation of solution and then titration, everything. I mean, your hand, your practical hand can be assessed. Uh, using this uh, exercise since it gives very accurate result and so uh, here you you put a number of drops of freshly prepared solution of potassium ferricyanide indicator potassium ferricyanide k3 fe cn6 is indicator put on a, a dry tile outside and uh, you keep on adding you pipette out uh, known, known and unknown dichromate solutions are titrated in similar manner. Uh, whether you uh, titrate known first or unknown first doesn't, doesn't matter and because the formula of uh, calculation is very simple. A strength in grams per liter, 4 into W, uh, uh, 4 into W, uh, V1 upon V2, known upon unknown. So uh, the things which which will be, uh, I mean, uh, I, I think video will be um, available to you afterwards. But but let me tell you how how this you 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 use this external indicator. So in external indicator, drop wise, you have put on the tile for okay outside. Now you have taken uh, dichromate. Uh, sorry, uh, ferrous ammonium sulfate, 25 uh, cc, pipette out. You will put in the titration flask and uh, star, uh, uh, and add 10, roughly one test tube full of uh, dilute S2SO4 to make the medium SD. And then you start uh, adding uh, uh, dichromate from the burette, known or unknown. It, it is, suppose it is, uh, first you are doing the known one. So uh, you have filled the burette from zero to 50, absolutely, uh, I mean, rinsed uh, with, and clean, and then rinsed with the, finally rinsed with the dichromate solution you are going to fill, and, and it is zero. So first time, we don't know where the end point lies. And testing uh, requires, of course, testing uh, during the testing. If any blue color is there, that shows reaction is not complete. Color of the indicator is light yellow. And uh, uh, um, so it is very distinct, very, very uh, easy to, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, easy to distinguish between blue uh, color when you put the reaction mixture with the with the help of a glass rod you you put out uh, i mean you you dip the glass rod in the uh, titration mixture and uh, and then that rod is brought uh, in touch with the indicator uh, drop on the tile outside and this way, uh, uh, blue color till blue color is there. Every time you have to wash in the running water, the tip of the uh, glass rod you are holding, and then uh, uh, again. So first time we don't know where the end point lies. We test at the difference of one cc addition, one cc at a time. Dichromate will be added from the burette one cc. Uh, at a time and uh, testing will be done. So suppose uh, this is described here uh, to find thus to find what point the blue color does not appear on the indicator drop. Suppose the drop gets colored at 24 ml when reading is showing in the burette 24 ml and remains un unchanged at 25 ml. That is uh gets colored suppose the drop gets colored at 24 cc and remains unchanged at 25 ml 
okay this indicates that the end point lies between 23 and 24 ml again take uh, i think it is confusing uh, in this uh, uh, slide it is confusing you you cannot make it out uh, from from the procedure described here i am telling you suppose uh, uh i mean you are getting the blue color uh, when you bring the titration mixture in touch with the indicator and it it is it is showing even a tinge of blue the reaction is i mean your it is not the end point so suppose it is at 24 then you will add one one cc more you are doing it first time of course you don't know where the end point exactly one one drop change uh, color change uh, should occur one drop from the burette and color change uh, i mean end point should come but uh, initially we don't know so we will add one cc since we are doing it uh, at the interval of one cc addition each time at 25 cc we will uh, suppose after 24 uh, we get we do not get the blue color that means the end point lies between 24 and 25 that is there next then we we shall again repeat the same thing this time faster with with faster addition of uh, quickly we will keep on adding till reaching 24 after 24 the addition would be uh, controlled drop wise and testing will be increased on the tile you have to put fresh uh, droplets of indicator on your tile if it is uh, full you can wash it in the running uh, running uh, tap water and uh, dry it with a with uh, your uh, uh, what you call uh, filter filter papers or or you can use a, a handkerchief to dry the uh, uh, tile and then you put the drops of indicator and i mean several drops at a time you you put in a row and you keep on testing uh, the uh, end point so end point at the end point what happens the color blue color blue tinge absolutely absent only what happens the indicator light uh, yellow color turns to little deeper yellow little deeper yellow that is the end point so uh, and every every time you titrate potassium dichromate with uh, ferrous ammonium sulfate solution uh, don't forget to add one test tube roughly one test tube full of dilute h2so4 on the time so this way known and unknown both are titrated in similar manner and you record uh, the exact uh, concordant value for known you may uh, take uh, several observations several runs of titrations and Uh, unknown also should be repeated and unless you confirm the end point no matter how many times you do uh, while writing the uh, experiment we only write i have told you we only write three observations and uh, out of three second and third observation should be same that is concordant if there is any confusion you remove uh, con confusion at this point again since it is the last volumetric exercise today so you you are supposed to be perfect in uh, carrying out uh, i mean uh, titrations of uh, various types of titrations so um, that is what is explained in the in the procedure i have explained it very in simple terms and calculation uh, you will write observations uh weight of empty weighing tube for uh, preparation of your known dichromate solution and uh prepare two uh, two tables one titration for uh, 
known strength of uh, known solution of dichromate uh, one is unknown dichromate solution and uh, calculate the result in grams per liter up to fourth place you are welcome to report the result up to fourth place after decimal correctly so uh, that is uh, there uh, now i am stopping this uh, and uh, share the another this is weighing part and uh, continue in continuation let me share this okay okay i have stopped sharing now again i have to come to so uh, miss ruby are you ready to explain the students in the, yes, in, the, sir. In, the in the video oh, okay yes sir okay students you just a minute.